Welcome back. Once again, it's Rashad Mitchell. Doing my thing like always with this on this day in black music history uh part series. I already did part 15. Now this is part 16 of On This Day in Black Music History, part 16. So we're gonna uh, continue with what took place on April 16th in Black Music History. April 16th, the number one R&B song on April 16th was in 1977. At midnight, my love will lift you up by Rufus B. Trent Khan. April 16th, 1949, Roy Milton charted R&B with Hucklebuck reaching number five. The singer, band leader, lead band leader, and drummer, an unusual combination, charted R&B 21 times between 1946 and 1961. His first 19 hits all made the top 10. Nineteen sixty on April sixteenth, the latest installment of the biggest show of stars, nineteen sixties tour. In nineteen sixty, included Joe Turner, Lloyd Price, Little Anthony and the Imperials, Laverne Baker, Clyde McFadder, The Coasters, Jimmy, Jimmy Jones, Jimmy James. Like Jimmy Jones, Sammy Turner, and Jimmy Reed began their travels at the Municipal Auditorium in Norfolk, Virginia. April 16th, 1966, Percy Sledge entered the R&B hit list with what would become an all-time soul classic, When a Man Loves a Woman, reaching number one both pop and R&B. April 16th, 1969. The Fifth Dimensions Aquarius Let the Sun Shine In charted in England on its way to number 11. The original American release, which was shortened for radio play and which omitted most of Aquarius, was accidentally issued in England. The radio edit became the British hit and never was corrected. April 16th, 1988, DJ Jazzy Jeff and the Fresh Prince landed on the R&B hit list with Parents Just Don't Understand, reaching number 10 and number, number 12 pop. It was the first of three top 10 hits for this duo, DJ Jazzy Jeff and the Fresh Prince. And finally, on April 16th, 1990, Anita Baker, Natalie Cole, Bonnie Raitt, I think her name is Micah Parrish, Micah Parrish sang Blowing in the Wind at Nelson Mandela in, in an international tribute to free South Africa concert, to a free South Africa concert at Wembley Stadium in England. Anita Baker, Natalie Cole, Bonnie Raitt, Micah Parrish sang Blowing in the Wind at Nelson Mandela's an international tribute to a free South Africa concert at Wembley Stadium in England. So that concludes part 16 of On This Day in Black Music History. Hope you enjoyed what I talked about. You, once I post the um, video up, upload it, you'll see the description, everything that you need to know about myself. And uh, we're going to keep it moving. So I got one more video to go, then I'm done for the day. This is my fifth video. I'm going to do my sixth video coming up real soon once I upload this video and give you the, end, the 411 what took place in black music history on April the 17th. This is Rashad Mitchell coming to you live from my YouTube channel. Until then, talk to you soon.